There was a popular saying by this man here on the screen, which up to now it makes sense to me and it touched my heart. And he says, a river cannot run through the forest without bringing down some big trees. Isakaba is coming back on your screens again. And <laughs> DJ Pakore. Okay, guys, welcome to the channel. My name is DJ Pakore. If today is your first time watching my videos here, mm, aquaba, give me a handshake. So, welcome to the channel. If you haven't subscribed, then you're really missing out on some great stuff, some great goodies, and all that. So, I'm going to encourage you to subscribe and become part of this wonderful family. You know, right here on this platform, we seek to promote what is positive and we do less of the negative or do the negative really, really, no, they help like that. So, we don't really talk about the negatives like that, but we they push more of the positives and we make sure that we entertain you. When it comes to entertainment, this platform, you have it from all angles, movie, music, comedy, just name it, sport, football, and all that. We try to, you know, give you a full pack. And when it comes to information, we make sure that we take our time to research, get accurate information, and we share that with you. And so this has been some of the great stuffs about this particular channel. If today is your first time getting to know me, then I welcome you to this channel. Popularly, I'm known as Mazi. Some they call me Eze, some they call me Otumba, some they call me Siriki. But right here in the city of Accra, Ghana, I'm called DJ Paco Rich. Yes. And so, um, it is what it is. Today we are going to talk about something interesting, something that if you are somebody that in around 2001 you were in your prime time, your childhood days and all that, you would really love to hear this news. There was a popular saying by this man here on the screen, which up to now it makes sense to me and it touched my heart. And he says, a river cannot run through the forest without bringing down some big trees. And it clearly says that, or it clearly means that there is no way we can fight against corruption without cutting down some big members or some top dogs in the community. They are part of the rot and corruption. And I can tell you that this movie was a movie that gave us a lot of moral lessons. Isakaba. Isakaba is coming back on your screens again. And when I heard the news, it was mind-blowing. Like you, it was very, very exciting to hear that a movie like Isakaba is coming back on our screens again. And I'm going to, you know, take you through some of the old cast and some of the things you should expect in the new Isakaba. And the interesting thing is that the man that we call Sam Dede, very, 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 very astute man when it comes to movies, action, everything is on point. He still maintains the name we call Ebube. And I'm sure watching those movies back in those days when you hear Ebube, it will shake you. And today is throwback things, so we'll definitely have to you know, give you that feeling. Isakaba! This man was a man that fought corruption. He did it in so many ways with strength, with spiritual backing and all that. And we are all waiting for the new twist, the new turns. We would all agree with that. In the past when this movie was being shot, technology and Nigeria's position in the movie industry wasn't as solid as now. I mean, you can all attest looking at movies like Tribe of Judah and uh, A Tribe Called Judah and whatever, and uh, other Shanty Tower and all that. You can see that Nigeria have upgraded when it comes to cinematography. Everything on their movie set is on point. And I mean, these are things that can rub head to head with Hollywood movies. And so the expectation for this movie is high. Trust me, 
we are expecting some great, 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 great moves when it comes to special effects because in the original movie, we saw a lot of, you know, staffs, bloody scenes and all that. So this time, we are going to expect a lot of special effects. And we are looking out like we want it to be very realistic, like how we see these things in the Hollywood movies. And I trust Nigeria for that. There are people that have learned the arts now, and they make sure that they pull up to the level that when it's on Netflix, people are not going to make more crew of Africa, that this is world-class standard movie. And so these are some of the things we are expecting in a new episode. Um, and also, I heard auditions has been already held at Asaba. I think it was done early this month, and so people and cast that need to be in this movie had already been selected. But I believe that some of the uh, new guys on the or uh, some of the old guys that they are bringing on board makes it very exciting and you can see this is Isakaba this is how it was how beautiful it was and uh, let me take you through some of the old names this is a man that we call Diwet Diwet was somebody who acted very well in this movie and we can't wait to see him in this Isakaba, the return of Isakaba again. Um, we also have this man that he can kill anybody in Hollywood for any good re for no reason. When it comes to people that are very <laughs> wicked. <laughs> we call him Agu. Uh, Zulu, yes, Mr. Zulu, yes, Mr. Zulu is one great actor that we love him so much and we hope to see him back in this movie. Um, one guy who's also a very good actor from Nigeria that we enjoy him so much. Um, his name is Andy. Yes, Andy Chuku is also coming back in this movie. And a lot of people high, have high hopes in seeing him. One person we are not too sure that he can make his return to this movie because of his health will be the man John Okafor. And it really hurts me. I wish we could have John Okafor on the screens of the return of Isakaba because he played some, you know, exciting roles. And the man we call Mike, Mike was the second, second in command to a bube. And this guy is somebody we are looking out for. They exhibited like the real African power and then the strength of Africa, man. And that one thing I, I will also speak about, you can see the gun that he's holding, holding was a woodcrafted gun and all that. But I'm sure these days we are going to have proper replica guns from Hollywood that will, you know, make the movie very appealing to the international market. One person we can't wait to have on the screen is the man we call Mbakwe, uh, Amachi Monago. Yes, this man is a man that we love so much. I heard he's not also too fit too well, but it would be amazing to be very great to see this man on the screen again. And so, Mr. Petty, Mr. Petty, yes, uh, Mr. Petty, and he is a, 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 led, a veteran actor that we would also want to have him in the new one. You know, we want to have that veteran feel with the new technology we we, we 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 will be very 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 amazed to see one person that we can do without in the new isakaba is aku aku i earlier mistaken him to be um uh, zulu yes this is a great actor in hollywood we definitely want to have in the new episode so guys this is the great news we have isakaba is coming back so when i shout e Sakaba, e Sakaba is coming back on your screens, and these are some of the cast that you should look out for. My name is DJ Paco Rich, aka Maz, aka Tumba. Nollywood is on the rise. We are waiting for this movie. We can't just wait for it. You understand? Yes. I don't know if it's Netflix or it's going to be Amazon Prime, or, but wherever this movie might be, we'll definitely go and watch it, and I'm sure it will be in the cinemas as well. My name is Marzi. My name is DJ Parker Rich. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think about this movie. Can you share some past memories of this movie, some of the things that makes you remember? I was in my JSS days when this movie came up, but trust me, it's a good movie. I love it. It's still lived in our brains, heads. We love it. I'm out of here. We'll definitely do this another day, another time. My name is DJ Park Rich E. Sakaba. D
DJ Paco Rich. <laughs>